hey guys welcome back to my channel so guys in this video now we are going to learn about how to edit the data and update the data okay how to edit and update into the bootstrap model okay so we will be using one bootstrap model to edit the data okay so like um i will okay so first thing is that this is the main file which we are doing from the starting like to add the model so we have to use this okay and now um, we displayed the data also using this table as simple okay so we have to use this so I will show you the output of it and uh, yeah so guys this is the output now if we add the data the model I mean the data will be getting added according to this model okay so now if we click on edit data so the model should get pop up and the data should come and then update the data likewise this model popping up okay so we will click on this and we will be doing it so guys without any wasting time we'll start with it and uh, yeah so first thing um on the edit button you have to do with it okay so when you click on edit button the model should get popped up right so for that i have already done with one model called add model okay so I'm going to copy that model only and just paste it once again so I'm going to paste it below it so and rename as um, called edit model okay so this will be edit model start edit model and end edit model right so in this now we have to change something so this model will be like edit model okay this id edit model that's it so we are going to edit the model okay so this id will be taken by the edit button so this edit button okay so for this um to edit this in the model we have to play with the script okay so for that um just we will start it now so first thing we will set the model thing okay so guys this is as simple edit model okay you have to change one thing id just remember id and form action is nothing but your route okay so i am going to give employee employee that's it okay so this will be my to save the update the data route okay so this is nothing but i am using a resource controller make sure you are using resource controller that it will be very easy to update it okay so i will show you that where it is actually so inside routes um web.php i am using employee okay as a resource controller i am using so uh, the resource controller is in laravel resource controller is very smart so it will understand what we are doing it okay so i'm going to paste that over here and we will give one id to this form called uh, what happened okay so we'll give an id for this form called edit form okay so we'll just mention as edit form okay and now to um, we have to give one more security token to update the data is that method method underscore field field that is put or patch you can use it anyone because it is a resource controller so we don't need to worry about what is the thing okay so just give it like this and um, yeah guys so let's start with the script so guys i have already done with the scripting part um to make this and this if i start coding with that scripting it may take a long time for the video okay so i have just already done it before now so to bring that i mean to use that script before it so you if you are playing with the javascript and all using script and all so you have to mention the id over here okay so in add form we didn't use any id okay so we are using here okay so if you want to check i will show you now so this is my add model okay so inside input type text see i'm not using any id over here okay so because of that um we will be using in the 
edit thing okay edit model so this is my edit model inside this edit model okay input type I'm going to use ID and name both okay so simple and clear so guys make sure you are using the ID so it the data will come into it okay by the script so that is some um, ID is equal to address and final one is ID is equal to mobile mobile okay so now save it and oops we didn't change this actually so let's change this last and this will be address and mobile number okay and um, we'll button type is submit and save um update data okay so update update the data fine so now let's um i will put that code script so guys let me paste it that so we will paste the script always at the bottom thing okay so let's paste this it's done so i have pasted the script now for that okay so just make to copy it down okay so now i will tell you what this script does is that mm, first thing okay so first thing is that you have to create a variable called table inside the table it will take a data table okay so this data table is nothing but at the data at the table see you have created one table right this table okay so inside this table you have to create one id okay so inside id that the table data table should be pasted okay so this data table will be pasted at this table id okay so now it's done so it will take by its row that is id of 0 and id of 1 it will take and update the data so for that we will go through the code so guys this is a data table function which is by data table um, it is actually one CDL link we have to give for this to work with this data table record okay so we will see to that so first now we will go actually we will take the data table so just we will go with it just copy this and go to your web and just search for this data table CDN links so you will get at the first option itself CDN database net okay so let's click on that and it goes to the next page and yeah guys so we are using bootstrap 4 I'm going to use bootstrap 4 so we will get a release that is so I'm going to use these things so the and data tables advantage is like you can get all the things okay so I'm going to copy this control a control C so it is a link okay so that is CSS link so first we will give it at the top inside the head title okay so just mention that is link link and paste the path that's it okay so it's done now and now we will copy the js so control a control c now uh, that is actually js right so that is a script so let's go to the bottom of the body okay where we are pasted so these scripts are nothing but for the bootstrap thing model and all so not to worry about that so let's paste over here um first you have to type script so script source yep so it's done now jquery it's done i mean jquery data will mean and now let's copy this bootstrap one database bootstrap so i'm going to paste this also just javascript um i mean script as with this cdn link done so main two things are this only without this your um edit won't work okay so i will show you the output of it now right now so let's go back and employee just reload the page and you will get like 10 entries everything by ready made okay so you will get search for the data it will search the data it's a very awesome thing okay so i like this thing so i use data tables like i can directly search the table by giving this cdn links only so now if i click on edit the data should get edited as simple right 
so it's a very awesome thing for me i mean to use this data table okay so guys we were till here we are using this function data table by this two cdn links okay then on the table when we click on edit button so let's go to the table okay so when i click on edit button so we have to give a class called edit okay so inside this edit we have to use a class called edit so i'm using this class over here class is always as initialize that dot right so with that function open and then declare a variable called tr okay where row it is the closest of row child and parent and it will return the value of it okay then mm, now again you have to create a variable called data okay so by that it will take to the table row so if you want to understand just go through the documentation very well it will tell you about thing you have to just search for it actually so i don't know that where it is but i have just uh, found it out and did with it so yeah so let's um this is console data so we don't need about this and all so guys now the main thing comes over here so by fetching the data of it each table row of it okay these and all it's by this okay so uh, first thing make sure that these both are there head and foot are there okay and then the data according to it so make sure that action should be into one thing okay done and now we will fetch the data okay so first thing that is f name l name address and mobile okay so these and all are the by first id second id third id four id okay so that is first name l name last name address and mobile right so it is like that and now um id is called zero so this edit form this edit form with the attribute called action so this edit form is nothing but your um form id okay so i'll show you that so inside your form um yep so this is our edit model right so inside our form we have created a edit form okay we have given a id so let me find this again so i'll find and show you that it will directly go to that thing okay so yeah no confusion so id is done so it will go to the action with the employee okay so this i will show you this copy this and paste it over here it will go to your main employee not this mm, yeah okay so inside edit model we are going to the employee okay with the action right with the data that is zero zero means id okay i mean that zero one two three it's showing the id with that zero so when i click i mean when i click on the edit when i click on the edit button the model should pop up that is show model dot show okay so when i this edit model is nothing but my a um, model id edit model id okay so i will show you that again paste it over here and show you okay so this was our id this is our id model edit so let me find okay so this is our edit model where i am going to give edit model okay edit model as id where i will find it into my script okay paste it into my script dot show that's it okay so guys now let's run this and make sure that script is added and for this script if you want the css that design will come okay let's run the output and save the data okay so now let's click on edit boom oh it went back okay so let's see it's going back somewhere it's not closed okay so let's check out with that mm mm, mm. it's actually Okay, if I edit, um, it's going. So let me refresh. Actually, what is this? So if I edit, it's going back. So it's redirecting again. So let's see in the edit code itself. Okay, href. If it is empty, means it will go back only. So let's give one hashtag over there. So it should not go back. So just let's refresh that, and let's edit. yeah it is storing it is staying okay so we can update the data okay so now we will code for the updation part okay 
so now till now we retrieve the data now we are going to update if i click on update the data should get updated okay so close this and let's get back to the code so guys main thing now we will go to the action attribute where employee it will go we are using resource controller so we don't need to worry about the path and all okay so the laravel is very uh, laravel resource controller is very smart okay so we don't need to specify that where it should go and update so it will take and go to its update function where is the update okay here it is update function and it will paste it so guys for the validation part i am going to copy the previous thing only okay so just copy it i mean i will take the whole thing we have to just change few contents from it okay not i did yeah update so let's update it so first thing we have to just it use it by id okay so find so we have to use the find actually so let's remove this employee scope resolution find by its id done okay so now we have to just save it and change the message called data that is updated right so now yeah guys so just a simple change okay just now let's do it um yes let's get back and view the i mean re reload the page let's edit the data from ved prakash to i will change it to funda okay so from ved to i will change to funda and uh, yeah let it be prakash itself from bangalore to what happened also it got entered okay so it's by mistake i just clicked on enter okay so let's edit one more time funda um web it okay so let's enter as um karnataka or whatever state you want just update the data and it will get updated okay so data web found a web it and the message is printed over here so if you want to know about this message actually it's over here okay inside the blade form only i have given it so guys um yeah it is over here so it's just a laravel content only so i have nothing done in this it's a laravel part of it so just we have to use the session of the laravel and just display it okay it's a very simple thing yeah um, yeah guys so i was showing you this um yeah so let's add the data i will show you um i'm going to add some data like yeah again funda will add not funda hmm okay what happened control i so data that is data data so bangalore bangalore and some content let's save the data and let's see the data data okay so we have seen the data data okay so i want what i want to do is change this data to um model edit success full okay let's save this update and the data got updated okay so guys you have learned how to edit the data using the bootstrap model thing okay in a very simple way and very kindful way okay so it's very easy guys now thank you for watching this video and what i want to show you is once again that code is this that's it a simple code with the data table okay so with the data table i'm using it so guys if you want to know about javascript how to use without this data table i will be uploading into next weeks okay so guys um yeah guys so in this video that's it and please watch out the in, uh, previous videos which are there is a continuation of it so guys in this video that's all and please subscribe my channel please like the video and share the video guys thank you for watching this video once again thank you